So this video is a quick one, I hope, about uh, the exponent of zero. <clears throat> and for whatever reason, a pile of students in the past couldn't remember exactly what this was all about. But um, I'll try to walk through it uh, in a logical fashion. I don't think it would be considered a hard and fast uh, derivation, but not by any measure, I don't think, but anyway. So, whoops, three to the zero equals what? Um, hopefully, I'm going crazy here. Hopefully you know that it's equal to one. So. Uh, any base raised to the zero is equal to one. Uh, I have to double check something, but anyway. Um, how do I explain it? Oh, crazy. Uh, here we go. So if I had x cubed, we can think of that as taking this base and this base and multiplying it three times, x times x times x. If I have x squared equals x times x. Now note, when I go from x cubed to x squared, I'm taking x cubed and dividing it by an x to get x squared. Um, similarly, if I get to x to the 1, I'm going to divide this by x to get that, and I get this. Let's skip the next one. Uh, x to the 0, and we'll come back to it. If I have x to the negative 1, hopefully you guys know that that's x to the 1, and, oops, running out of room, x to the negative 2 is 1 over x squared. Notice I no x is in a denominator, no x is in a denominator, but one less. You know, take this guy and divide it by x, get this. Take this divided by x, get this. Take this by x, take this divided by x and get one is the idea we're trying to get to. And take this and divide it by x and we get this. Take this and divide it by another x and I get one over x squared. So that's a way to explain logically, again, not a, uh, a rigid uh, proof of any sort, but um, to explain why... Uh, x to the 0 or any value to the 0 is equal to 1. Uh, let's just jam the examples in here at the same time. So here are the example problems. Um, 4 to the 0 equals what? Uh, negative, negative 4 to the 0 equals what? Uh, use a different numbering convention this time. And 4, and I guess we should go a little bit out of order because of the way I wrote this. Uh, so 4 to the 0, of course, we know is 1. Here's a little more complicated. What about a negative number? It doesn't matter. It does not matter. This base raised to the 0 is 1. But this one's a little different. This portion of it, let's do this. Let's box this. This portion of it equals 1. But this is still there, so this is actually negative 1. And then this guy is equal to 1. All right? That's it.